After much waiting and anticipation, Lama Zoko finally reintroduces the Linya Mini. Born from a classic, the Linya Mini was first released back in 2015 and it has become a dream coffee machine for all baristas all over the world ever since. The simplicity and robust build of the Linya Mini is what made it so popular in the first place. But what about the new Linya Mini? What's really different about it this time and is it worth upgrading if you already own the previous one? Hey guys, I'm Imran Ezra from Lamarsa and today I'll be reviewing the new Lama Zoko Linya Mini. It's pretty obvious that the first thing you'll notice from the design is how similar it is to the Linea Micra and the Linea Classic S. These are called the Della Pietra Curve, named after Stefano Della Pietra, the head designer at Lama Zoko. The slanted side panels were first seen on the Linea Classic S, then the Linea Micra, and now the new Linea Mini has joined the Della Pietra Curve Club as well. It measures at about 38.1 cm for height, 35.5 cm in width and 45.7 cm for depth which is more or less the same as the previous Linea Mini. It weighs 30 kilos, just a tiny bit lighter than the previous Mini. At one glance, it may look like nothing much has changed. But when you take a closer look, you'll notice subtle changes such as the design of the cup warmer, which is the same as the Linea Micra. The knobs are now engraved with the Linea Mini wording, just like the Micra 2. One of the highlights of the new Linea Mini would definitely be the short timer, which I'll explain in a bit. The Linea Mini is looking more like a bigger Micra now, with the one indicator light on each side. When blinking, the red light indicates the heating element is engaged while the blue light indicates low water level for your water reservoir. The steam gauge and the brew gauge are the same but they have swapped. The drip tray design is also different now. It feels solid and now comes with a floater to tell you when it's full. Another interesting thing to note is when you take out the drip tray, the 2.5 liter water reservoir pops out as well, which is really nifty. The backsplash is no longer polished stainless steel, but it's the same color as the rest of the panels. I kind of like it as the previous backsplash was a bit hard to clean. The Lama Zoko wording at the front has also been changed from red to stainless steel. I think it makes the Mini look even more slick. You have the standard barista lights and the brew pedal as well as the knobs are made out of soft touch materials. Some may like it while some don't but Lama Zoko has stress tested them under extreme conditions to ensure that the soft touch material will actually last. Last but not least, you have your hot water on the left and the steam one is also cool touch so you won't ever accidentally burn your hand. The steam tip has been replaced with a polymer one so it doesn't get too hot. It's easy to clean and yes, they do provide a stainless steel one if you're not into it. Let's have a look at what's in the box. You'll get a manual book, a group head cleaning solution, a really sturdy Lama Zoko milk pitcher, a Lama Zoko convex temper, a water test kit, a blind basket, a 7, 14, 17, and 21 grams basket, and just like the Micra, a convertible bottomless water filter with the single and double spout attachment. Last but not least, a stainless steel steam wand tip if you ever feel like changing it from the plastic one. The Linea Mini is a compact double boiler system machine with the steam boiler being 3 litres 
and the brew boiler being 0.17 liters. It features an integrated group head which ensures optimal thermal stability. From a cold start, the Mini takes about 10 to 15 minutes to heat up which is not long at all. And this time around, they have made it super easy for you to change your brew pressure too. The adjustable OPV is located at the top and without removing any panels, you can just adjust the pressure according to your liking. The temperature wheel at the side has been removed. Perhaps Lama Zoko wants you to explore the Lama Zoko Home app even more. You may connect the Linea Mini to the Lama Zoko Home app which gives you access to a ton of features. You can set the temperature for the brew boiler and three preset temperatures for your steam boiler. You can remotely schedule when you want it to be turned on and off. Turn off the steam boiler if you're planning to just brew espresso. Automatic back flush, pre-brewing, pre-infusion if you plumb in your mini, view your mini stats and so many more. And before we move on to the performance, Let's take a look at the shot timer. Now, the shot timer doesn't just time your shot, but also works as an indicator when your mini is heating up. Just like a loading screen, the three buttons indicate the heating stage of the mini. You can also do a quick flush by pushing the pedal and back and you can of course set the flush time through the app. The new mini is also compatible with the Akaya Brew by weight scale. This is really convenient if you ever have a large order as all you have to do is set the desired weight on the app, pull your shot and you may prep your next order without stopping your shot manually. This feature essentially makes your mini a semi-auto machine. After all that, how does the new Linea Mini actually perform? Nothing short of a Lama Zoko machine, of course. Lama Zoko has marketed the new Linea Mini as not just a home machine but also for a small volume, something like a pop-up which is made easy with all the new features they added. The refreshed look and updated features of the new Linea Mini is pretty much due since the first Linea Mini was released about 9 years ago. There is no questioning the performance of the Linea Mini, be it the previous one or the new one. New features such as the short timer, auto back flush, and the brew by weight compatibility makes this the perfect single group for a pop-up or even a small cafe. The Linea Mini is a true home coffee machine with commercial features. So, should you upgrade to the new Linea Mini, if you already have the previous one, these additional features are meant to make it easy for you to do back-to-back -back short workflow. Which means, if you're venturing into commercial, yes, it will make sense to upgrade. However, if you are the no-fuss home barista who makes a couple of cups a day, it wouldn't make a huge difference to your workflow. But don't let me stop you from getting one. It is a beautiful coffee machine after all. I have included the link to the Linea Mini in the description below if you're interested in purchasing or you can just drop by our showroom. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.